Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to make this tutorial because it's been bugging me for a while and I finally found a solution and hopefully, you know, you're going to find it useful. So the problem was, I want to teach guitar online. Um, and I thought, okay, I can teach acoustic guitar. Acoustic sits here. I've got a microphone here. Um, and the mic will pick up my voice, pick up the acoustic. Done. But I also want to teach electric guitar online and the options for doing that just seem to be you'd have an amp and you some you put the mic next to the amp but then you've got to get your voice over Skype or Google Hangouts as well and it's all very difficult. So I'm on a Windows machine here um, that's actually easier on a Mac I think but this is dealing with just Windows where it seemed to be incredibly difficult. So yeah, I wanted my guitar and my voice to be able to go over Skype and I also wanted all the effects and everything, like I wanted my guitar to sound nice. Um, and then I thought I'd go one step further and I'd like, I want to be able to play Spotify over Skype. And so for the student to be able to hear the track and go, oh, okay, and to be able to hear me playing along with it or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna explain how this problem can be solved because it took me hours of searching. So hopefully you find it useful as well. So let's begin, right. The first thing you want to do is you want to install um, you want to install something called Synchronous Audio Router. Now this, what it's going to do is, it's a tiny little install, I'll put the um, link to it in the description. This is going to make Windows think you've got a whole load of sound cards connected. Um, and they're not going to be there all the time, only when you open up Reaper and sort of set it up. So once you close Reaper they all vanish and it's nice and clean, nothing messy. Um, so yeah, it's called Synchronous Audio Router. You want to install that. Um, and this will work in, I mean, I'm going to use Reaper, but it'll work in Ableton and Studio One and any door that you're using, really. But we'll do Reaper, which is why I've got the Reaper window open somewhere over here. Um, right, you want to set up the driver first. So I'm just, I'm reading through my instructions on here, make sure I'm getting everything right. Um, so I'm also going to link to a configuration file. Uh, I'll put that in the description. And basically this is going to get you up and running straight away so you don't need to go setting loads of stuff up. So what it does is it makes a whole bunch of Windows playback devices. So you've got applications, games, um, VoIP, and I think you've got music, and then you've got like a separate one for voice. It's going to have all of these in the configuration file all sorted. So go ahead and download that. Um, and then you want to put that file, if you type in percent app data percent um, into your, uh, what am I saying, into a Windows, um, like a, a browser, uh, not an internet browser, a file, words are failing, a file browser, the thing where you go look at files, file explorer, there you go. So type in the percent symbol, app data percent symbol, and then you should find a folder called synchronous audio router. If it's not there, make it. And you want to put this um, file, it's called default.json, put that into that folder. You might need to reboot your PC at this point. Um, so yeah, maybe go ahead and do that just to make sure. And then come back to the video and explain how to do the rest. So now what you want to do is the good part. You want to start your door. So open up Reaper or whatever it may be. Um, and you want to open it up with admin privileges. That's the important bit. So this SAR driver, it currently requires admin privileges to work. Right, and I'm back. There might be a little um, pause there, but I'm back. So what you want to do in Reaper, once you've got it open, is go to the top right here. And then my mic cuts out because I was stupid and forgot that it closes. So open up the preferences. Make sure you select ASIO at the top and then make sure you select the synchronous audio router um, on the device there. And then go to the ASIO configuration panel and mm, choose your hardware. So mine is UA25EX. Make sure you've got that chosen. And if you've used the default JSON file, you'll have everything already listed in there, ready to go. So you should be good. And at this point, I think I'm just explaining stuff. Yeah, so basically, you just want to hit OK. All right, now you want to enable the inputs, and you want to choose the first one to be the very first input, so number one on there, and then the last one to be the very last one. 
nice and simple. So make sure those are set and then you're going to do the same for the outputs. Choose the first and click that one and then choose the last one. And that should get you going. Cool. So everything's all good there and then just hit OK and I'm back. You get your um, the sound all comes back like normal. OK, so next step is adding the tracks. So you've got your audio sorted out. We want to add some tracks into Reaper. You can see I've already got some here, um, but we're going to add a new one and we're going to add a guitar track. So I've already got a guitar track there, but let's add one so we know what we're doing. So you want to hit Control T to add a new track. Let's move it up next to the other guitar one. We're going to call this guitar number two. Um, so what you want to do is select the correct input channel. So my guitar is going into the right input channel on my audio device. So in here, now you can see we've got loads of them. In here I want to select the right one. I want to make sure that record monitoring is on. That's an important bit. And then I want to arm my track. And now there's nothing coming into there yet. What I'm going to do is let's add bias effects on there. While that loads up, down we go. Let's quickly select a sound, John Mayer rig. Um, that should all be fine. Let's close that. Right, so you've got your guitar set up. It's monitoring, it's all there. If I pick up the guitar, which is plugged in, I think you might be able to hear this. Actually, no, you won't be able to hear this just yet because I haven't rooted it yet. I'll show you how to do that bit, but you can see from there that we've got a level coming in. So that is good news. It means the guitar is being picked up. Let's turn the volume down on that. So you want to add as many tracks as you need. So I've got one for my microphone, one for the guitar, and then I've got one for Spotify specifically in there. Next, you want to set up a bus channel. So that is this one here. So um, let's not get rid of that because I think it will mess up the sound. I'll just show you how you do it. So again, add a new track. Don't worry about the input. Don't worry about arming it. You just want to go to routing. So once you've got all like your three tracks, however many you want, make a bus track, go to routing, and you want to add a new hardware output, and you want the hardware output to be stream mix one slash stream mix two, assuming you've used the config file from above. And you want to um, deselect uh, the master send. That's an important bit. So once you've got that bit, go over to the right hand side here, go to add new receive, and just click add receives from all tracks and that will set all that up for you so if I do that there it goes added a whole bunch there so let's undo if we can there we go so you want to add receives from all tracks and that will add all of them on there so you can see now we've got it from track 2 mic track 3 guitar track 5 Spotify so I'm going to delete this one that we made earlier just because I've got everything else set up I'm going to arm it ready um, right, so after this, the routing panel for the channel, it should all be set up, all done, um, and you should be good. You can add a separate bus for the voice if you want to, um, but for what I need it for, I don't really need to do that. So, to cover all of that one more time, just very quickly, we have... Make as many tracks as you want, you choose the right inputs, make sure their recording monitoring is all on, arm them all, hit routing on the bus, add a hardware um, a hardware output, which is stream mix one slash stream mix two, and then for the receives, um, add, add them all. And you should be good to go. Right, so now, um, yeah, now you want to open up your whatever you want. Um, so let's open up Skype on here. I was using Google Hangouts earlier. Actually, is Google Hangouts still open? No. So on Skype, as an example, you go to settings, audio and video, and you can see here it's using Stream Mix, which is what we sent uh, that bus as a hardware out. Stream Mix Synchronous Audio Router. So everything that is going to that bus will be going to here. So also I'm using OBS to record, so everything that would be going to Skype 
should be going to you guys that I'm recording to you now. So if I close this, you should be able to hear. Now I'm going to put my headphones on just to double check that you can. Right, I can hear myself talking, so that's a good sign. And then the guitar. Oh, that's all. Yep, there you go. The John May sound. Slightly out of tune. Very out of tune. I apologise for that. Um, so you've got the mic, you've got the guitar, and then this one, Spotify, if I open up that, and we hit play on there, the nice thing is, you've now got this fader. This controls the volume of Spotify. I'm not the kind of Same with the guitar. Whatever key that might be in. But anyway, there you go. But last night I looked up into the dark. And so Spotify, um, sorry, I should have mentioned the input on that one is set to uh, music one. Just nice and simple, music one. Um, I didn't set it to stereo or anything. It just, you'll be able to hear that. So if you're teaching online, they'll be able to hear my voice going through the mic that's here. They'll be able to hear the electric guitar, which, um, yeah, the lovely out of tune electric guitar. The lovely in tune electric guitar, and be able to hear Spotify or any other sort of music player that you're sending. Um, and then you can obviously share your screen. So they should be able to see everything, hear everything, and you'll be able to give really good guitar lessons, is the idea. Um, well, guitar lessons that definitely sound good. And yeah, that is everything. So hopefully you found that useful. I mean, it took me ages to work out what the solution was and to actually find an article that told me how to do it and give me the install files. Um, but now it's all done. Now I just got to save this. So make sure you save this as a template. That will be good. So then you don't have to set it up all again. Um, but when you load up a normal Reaper project, then you'll just be able to load it up fine and you won't have to go through all this. So yeah, save this as a template project um, for any time that you want to stream online. So this will be useful for people who want to stream games, who want to, you know, do Twitch stuff. Exactly the same setup, except you probably won't have a guitar, but you could have you talking into here, you can have a soundtrack going on in the background, you can have the volume of the game and everything. Basically, Reaper is now just a giant mixer. Just adjust all the levels, add any effects. The really nice thing is you can now, which I haven't done here, but you could uh, go into the mic and add whatever you want. You know, you could... Um, Repitch. You could add anything like that. So let's put it back to normal. And that is the end of the tutorial. Awesome. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be start teaching guitar online soon. So if you want any lessons, write a comment, send me a DM, find me on Twitter at Will Helliwell with a number one afterwards, because somebody has Will Helliwell. Um, Instagram, Will Helliwell, you know, find me somewhere online. I'll put the links below and send me a message and hopefully I can start teaching, um, yeah, teaching you guitar. It'll be good fun, looking forward to it. Cool, see ya.